Okay, let's see. Uh, let's see what Asmongold has to say about um, breast milk. There's very few times where like your boy Asmongold can actually get embarrassed or feel awkward talking about something. But unfortunately, we are in even my uncomfortability zone. All right, let's go. Let's just, let's fucking get it out of the way. All right? In other countries, uh, women get maternity leave. This is America. So they have to breastfeed at work because they have young babies and they have to meet their honor point requirements so Bobby doesn't fire them because... So wait, they actually breastfeed the babies at work? Because I thought that... Um... I thought that what would happen is, you know, I've, I, I actually, we actually talked about this yesterday in FC chat. And my interpretation on this is, was that, you know, because of the way that milk production works in pregnant women, you know, it's not like it's on a schedule, right? So it's like the booba produces, I mean, it's not the booba that produces milk, but you guys get it. The booba stores milk and whatever the thing is that produces the milk it doesn't it doesn't work on a schedule so sometimes they got their booba filled with milk and they got to pump that shit out it's just like you know when when you got to when you got to go to the bathroom you know your bladder is full you got to empty it and of course they got to save that cuz that's going to be sustenance for their baby so i thought that's what that was for which is why they've had like the lactation rooms and whatnot which is why I wasn't surprised that some people would decide to go have meetings in the lactation room, hoping to, you know, get a glance or something. But I guess, according to what Asmongold is saying, they just straight up, uh, they just straight up breastfeed at work. Hoping that a number of items was fixed, and I brought this up a few years ago, everyone who was involved since left. Last I reported, some of the consistent with people dropping the ball and maintaining these things. Some of the issues that I encountered, the chairs would rock backward and not be locked in the position to properly position oneself to pump. Many mothers were sitting on the floor to pump. Dude. Tables were made of wood, were porous in texture, so even though they were clean, breast milk built up and caked on the table, discoloring leaving trapped milk on the table. The outlet situation was a fire hazard. There's only two plugs per room, one plug being used by a lamp with a USB jack for phones, the other outlet for the pump. No outlet for laptops or extra table space to place a laptop or if pumping moms wanted to work or watch a show while pumping, so extension cords are being used in sufficient storage space. There were no locked cubbies for moms to keep their pumps safe. Oh, God. He needs to buy his seventh yacht. So we've got a number of situations that uh, have occurred and I'd like to talk about them and uh, get into it. Number one, the chairs would rock backward and could not be locked in position to properly position oneself to pump. Many mothers were sitting on the floor to pump. Now, I have never breastfed someone myself. So to be honest with you, I don't really know the anatomy of this. Like, I kind of understand the general idea, but I, I don't really... Guys, wh how are you capping this? How are you capping... Do you think this feels awkward? Yes, it does. So let me, let me, let me give you guys a little bit of a perspective, okay? It's not the same thing. It's not the same thing, but it should paint a picture as to why it's important for women to be comfortable or in a cer certain position while they're pumping, right? So think of it like this. When you need to take a shit, can you take a shit standing up? I mean, you probably can. It's not going to be very comfortable. It's not going to be very conducive to you taking a shit. So, you know, in order for you to take a shit, you got to squat. You should squat. It's going to feel way more comfortable than if you're standing up or if you're running or if you're in some other strange position. Fucking <laughs> No. Okay. Okay, guys. When I said, you know, if you can shit, that wasn't a challenge. Okay. That wasn't a challenge. Squatting is much more comfortable when you're taking a dump. Let's just be straight here. Squatting is more comfortable. That's just the way it works. It's kind of like the same thing. For women and pumping, you know, there are certain positions that are more comfortable. And according to what they're saying, because like, look, for instance, my wife, she needed like um, a chair for when she was uh, breastfeeding or giving the baby a bottle. 
And the proper position to do that, it was a chair that where she had to be like lean back. Right. But it's like at the same time, you can't be like swinging it like what I'm doing here. It's not like a swing thing. So she says they can't rock backwards. What that means is that they can't get like a good comfortable position. So you need to get into a comfortable position and you need to feel like you're in a safe environment. You need like at least that's my interpretation of it as as a woman you would need to feel like you're in a safe environment if it's going to be conducive to you you know the milk flowing out of the breast because if you're not in a safe environment our primitive brains are constantly like looking for danger because back in the day we used to have like predators that would try to catch us when we were at, at our most vulnerable so breastfeeding is someone who's in a vulnerable position this is why they need like a comfortable space a lactation room safe space which people then would barge in and say oh i gotta go have a meeting in here but that's why it's not st stop it, it stop stop capping i i don't know the i don't know how this works but i will take their word for it that it's an issue the tables this is the most disgusting thing i've ever heard and it literally makes me not even want to eat after i finish this video the tables were made of wood were porous, which means that like things can go down inside of them, uh, and textured so that even though they were cleaned, breast milk built up and caked on the table, discoloring and leaving trapped milk on the. Yeah, it's disgusting. Oh it's nasty. Oh my god, it's just so fucking disgusting, man. They refuse to clean up after after their after their own milk. No, no, no. That's not how it works, man. Okay, imagine if you get a piece of paper wet. You can never dry that paper out all the way to where it's the exact same before you got it wet, right? So imagine you get it wet 50 times. What's that paper going to look like? It doesn't matter how hard... It's, fu it's funny if anybody in his chat said, because it, it seemed to me like he was reading his chat and that someone said, people not cleaning up their milk after themselves. These are probably the, these are probably the same people who are like, when they press a key on their keyboard, the key sticks. These are probably the same people who are like, oh, people are disgusting. They're not cleaning up after themselves. Yeah, I want to see how many crumbs are on your fucking keyboard, you disgusting bastard. <laughs> you clean it. And by the way, I'm not exempt of this. My keyboard is fucking nasty, all right? I'm not, I'm not coming at this from like some grandstand. I actually need to buy a new keyboard. Some of my keys are sticking, all right? I'm not, I'm not like trying to raise myself up above the, the crowd or anything. It doesn't matter what you do. If you go to any of these, like, you know, like you go to the, the bathroom and you see they have like a baby changing station and like a maternity station in a lot of these different bathrooms. Not a single fucking one of them is made out of wood. Not a, like a toilet is made from wood. No, it's not made from, it's not, oh, you don't get it. It also, like, why are you shitting on your toilet seat? You're supposed to do in between. What are you doing? <laughs> That's not how you do it. I, I understand oh, that God. you guys think that somehow these this women is the conversation. have just got together and they're like, we're going to come up with this thing that is embarrassing even to read we're gonna say all of these things and there's nobody around saying that they're lying right besides a few people of like a twitter profile of donald trump or or, or an anime girl with a, a with a hat on or something like that or maybe maybe an nft instead uh nowadays uh, there's nobody saying that these people are lying uh, that actually work at the company, right? There's no, there's no pushback against this narrative at all. So it feels to me like it, 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 it I, I, nah, man, come on. Like nobody's going to go to jail over this. Uh, nobody's going to, uh, this, there, this is not actionable information directly. This is just more fuel to the fire. It's like more sprinkles on the cupcake, right? You already didn't like the cupcake. But now it puts sprinkles of dog shit on it. And now you really don't like it. Why is there milk on a table? And like, if you spill some, you wipe it up. So, okay. So this is a point of contention. All right, all right, just, just, all right, let me. Okay, all right. 
Okay. All right. Let's. So here's what we do. Like I said, just wipe your keyboard too. Why don't you just clean up your keyboard? Good luck with that. I want you guys to, for the next year, anybody who thinks that this would not happen, for the next year, I want you to get a piece of wood and I want you to pour milk on it three times a day. Leave it there for five minutes and then wipe it off. Do that every single day for an entire year. So collectively over a thousand times. And then at the end of that year, I want you to look at that piece of wood and tell me that it's not different. Nobody wants to do it because everybody knows what's going to happen. Not a woman, thank God. Why would I? No, you don't have to use your own breast milk. You don't have to induce lactation for the test. I'm oh just God. drawing an analogy. What is this? Show how ridiculous this is. What is this uh, video? The situation was a fire hazard. There were only two plugs per room, one plug being used by a lamp with the USB jack for phones, the other outlet for the pump. No outlet for laptops or extra table space to place a laptop. A pumping moms wanted to work or watch a show while pumping, so extension cords were being used. Uh, I don't know if extension cords are a fire hazard. I, I have no idea about that. Insufficient storage space. Uh, there were no locked cubbies for moms to keep their pumps safe. Many had to lug them across campus multiple times a day as they didn't want to leave them behind. At this time, women were uncomfortable using B-13s. I thought that was an airplane, so uh, I, I'm, I'm not really, as I said, I'm a 31-year-old single man. I've never had a kid before, so uh, this is kind of outside of my area. Like, of dude, it. if women aren't, if women don't feel safe to leave their pumps at work, like, that is a fucked up work environment. Like, if you can't even trust the people in your immediate vicinity to like do some fucked up perverted shit like i'm just thinking about what would people even do to a lactation pump like would they go in there and like lick it or something like i don't would they get some kind of like sick some kind of like sick twisted sexual get off from licking the inside of a breast pump I'm just, listen, I'm just trying to understand, Ark Axel. I'm trying, no, no, oh, oh, no, dude, Viola's, oh, no, God, I don't want, no, okay, I'm going to just move right back. Expertise. That comment. You'll see why oh, it's God. important to have locked cubbies here in just a second. So, uh, anyway, we have the, yeah, they're locking the pumps up. No, I would assume that carrying your breast pump around the Blizzard offices is embarrassing. And it's not that it's embarrassing. Breastfeeding is natural. It's totally normal. Gotta put that on but a it's backpack. like, imagine if you had to carry around toilet paper with you every single time you had to use the bathroom. It would be kind of awkward to just have it there in your hand. Uh, not really. It's in a bag. Yeah, but like, I think people assume that's what it is and it's the implication of it. Probably wouldn't care. They come on a purse. Uh, it's, it's, it's not like it's a big deal. I always bring my own toilet paper. What are you, Batman with utility belt? <laughs> what? How does this work? I always no, bring my own toilet paper. What? Are you just sitting in an office with like a roll of toilet paper? When you go to the bathroom, you get your roll of toilet paper. You go into the bathroom. What the fuck, dude? What? You walk out of that and you say, it's not my fucking problem. I don't want to hear about how you do things differently and how your world is totally different than everybody else's. It's fucking not. You're lying and I don't want to hear it. So let's go back over to number five. Who shits at a Walmart? Honestly, whenever you're at Walmart, you're asking yourself who actually shits in the toilet. If you've gone yeah, to the Walmart today. Exactly. To. So anyway... <laughs> Let's go to number five. Number five is the worst. <laughs> Some crazy shit at Walmart, okay? Refrigerators. Oh man, I, I don't even know. Like, yeah, listen, I, I've 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 been uh, on Nine Gag, and I've seen some fucked up shit on Nine Gag. Like some people, I don't even know how people. No, let's not let's not get into this. Let's just let's just not. Oh god, I can't even read this. I've already had uh -huh. to read this once. Here we go. 
Oh god. All right. All right. Let me just get this out. All right. And we're just going to get this out one shot and I I'm never going to read this ever again in my life. Refrigerators had padlocks that were not consistently locked or could be accessed by other employees. Employees were using the fridges to store their beer in, but the reason there were locks on them in the first place is that women's breast milk would be stolen. Oh god. All right. We got them, guys. We got him. It it it's so ridiculous. I I I can't even. I don't want to. I don't want to see it on my screen anymore. Like I I I can't even see this on my screen anymore. This is so. This is so upsetting to me. What kind of workplace allows you to store beer? I don't have a problem with people drinking alcohol. I don't give a fuck about that. It doesn't matter. Like this. Why do they feel the need to store the beer next to the fucking breast milk, though? That's the important part. Like, just fucking. If you need to store beer in your workplace, talk to your supervisor and get a proper mini fridge for storing beer, as opposed to storing beer next to fucking breast milk. Fucking the shit that we have to go through. It's a completely separate issue. Like, this is like a, like, yeah, drinking alcohol leads to problems. Should it be in the workplace? Probably not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is like way worse. And like, what are you even thinking about the alcohol for? This, like, my it's fine. way worse. Everyone has beers. Yeah. Oh my God. Like the alcohol, you know, gives a shit. Tell me the highest paid CEO could only afford lactation office with a Morton Joe. Yeah, this is nuts, man. There are some individuals that work at this company that makes me uncomfortable. It's hard to do. I can deal with a lot of stuff. I've had people grab my dick at conventions. I've had people do it randomly in like uh, in, in in clubs and stuff. Back whenever we used to go down to Sixth Street and stuff, it, like and it just it just happens, right? It never made me uncomfortable. I was. Random dick grabs? Is this a thing in America where you're just like, you're just walking around, somebody grabs your dick? What? I've never had that happen. Yeah. As in, kind of feel, <laughs> almost feel a little bit disappointed that never happened. What the fuck? It's just then like, again, okay. You then again, it's like, I, I, I've never been someone that goes clubbing much, so that might be why. Or it could just be because I'm an ugly bastard. No, it is. what Because it, it wasn't on purpose, right? Like, most of the time, at least. It wasn't on purpose. So oh, it was like, I, you know, like, on purpose. you thought it was like your boyfriend. And no, I'm sorry. It's not. You can tell because I'm a little bit bigger. But the fact <laughs> is that this <laughs> is a thousand times worse. And I, I, I can't even, and it's like not even happening to me, but just saying it is so upsetting to me. Oh my God, it's so upsetting. Recap on what happened. No, no, you're not going to get a recap on what happened. You're going to have to watch the video because I'm not saying it twice. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I, this is too much. You're going to have to watch the video. So I find that this is not really an isolated incident at Blizzard. It's not this like weird Blizzard perversion that only happens there. It's happened, it, it, yeah, it's common. You mean common for the fetish? Maybe next time they do the national census, they'll put that on page four. Okay, I don't know how common- Is it common to steal breast? Oh my God, dude. Like, listen, we, we have officially failed as a species, all right? We, we've, like, look, okay, man? Look, if, if somebody needs to, like, fucking steal breast milk to get, like, dude, fuck right off, okay? We've failed as a species. Like, I'm common, sorry. This is, but I have no idea. But what I'm saying is that it's common enough. Why are we talking about this? Does it matter? It's happening, and it's happened before, okay? Look up. Popular categories on Pornhub. Okay, okay. 
This is getting weird. It's not getting weird, okay? It started off weird, and it's getting worse. First time chatter. Hello, I'd like to come inside you. Uh, apparently, it's a displaced Blizzard employee. <laughs> so, you know what? I'm not HR, so I'm done tiptoeing around these issues to be sensitive. Men stole them. And if they want to keep that hush-hush, maybe they should circle back to me whenever I report these things and share some of my transparency on how they, one, plan to respond, and two, how to mitigate these issues instead of blanket statements like, we took care of them. It's my job to protect employees. I'm not here to handhold or make people comfortable. I'm here to provide facts and testimony of my investigations. As one of the few women in security, I'm quite frankly tired of seeing HR not follow through on things that should be followed up on. This proves that the US is the biggest shithole. Yeah, the thing is, the weird thing is that there are nobody, there are no people that do this outside of the US. This is a completely US only thing that happens. So the moment that you cross the border, uh, I don't even think, do women even lactate in other parts of the country or other parts of the world? Or does that just stop whenever you cross the American border as well? Yeah, it just stops. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought too. Okay, good. Uh, I'm glad that we cleared that up. I'd like to add, women are expected to return to office. How are women supposed to feel safe working at Blizzard? Yes, uh, this is not, this would not make me feel safe. Uh, this makes me feel unsafe and I don't even work there and I'm not even a woman. So, breastfeeding mothers aren't forced to work in other parts of the world to get by Kekona. Yeah, well, welcome to America. Uh, HR protects the company, not the employees. So, it, it, this is the thing, right? What are the odds that men stole them and drank them? I would say it's not 100%. But... I'd say it's probably close. Like if, it, like knowing guys, like I've, I, I'm a guy. I grew up with guys. I, I went to a, a shitty high school. Uh, I went to college. Can I imagine guys doing this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I could imagine. It's not something they'd be proud of. It's not something that I ho fucking hope not. But yeah, I could see this happening. Hundred percent. Hundred fucking percent. I could see this happening. Absolutely. Like, okay, what, what would I do if I were in that situation? I'd get a security camera, point it at the fucking, uh, point it at the fucking, the refrigerator, and, and then put a lock on it. Problem pretty much solved, I would assume. But, uh, kill helmet. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so that, that, that's probably what, don't hire women. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Holy fuck. Uh, so, like, that's, that's what I would probably do to solve the problem. And, uh, no, the truth is, though, is this is this would probably solve it in Blizzard. Here's how you would solve that problem. You guys want to hear that? Um, I got I got the I got the best take in the business for this for this particular problem of breast milk being stolen. OK, I have the best take in the business. OK, nobody's going to beat my fucking take right here. OK, guys, you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Here's how you fix it. Two words, two Fucking words. Maternity leave. Oh my God. Oh my God. Woo. Treat people like human fucking beings. If a woman needs to breastfeed her baby, give her a fucking maternity leave. And here's the thing. I can already see people like, no, we can't do maternity leaves in America. We don't do that here. Okay, fine. You don't do maternity leaves? Okay. If you're about to have a baby, all of that stuff, you get to work from home for the duration of a maternity leave. There you go. You get to work from home for the duration of your maternity leave. You have to come into the office like once a week or some bullshit like that. But besides that, you get to basically work from home. Hey, wouldn't that be amazing? Actually treating people like you. No, that, I'm sorry. That take is too wild. That is too wild, dude. Then it'll happen once a week. No, dude, because like she would pump before she goes to work. All right. She'd pump before she goes to work and, you know, she'd go to work that one day a week. She would have milk in her house and she wouldn't have to, you know, pump for that day. 
and then boom, be done. Even though I know she could get uncomfortable at some point because like I said, the milk producing thingamabob in the boob does not work on a schedule and all that, but still be better than the alternative. How much would that really cost though? Like ask yourself this question. How much would it They get maternity leave, but they have to mail the milk to the supervisor. I wouldn't be surprised if someone tried pulling that off. He's like, oh, I can pull a couple of strings to get you some maternity leave. But I'm going to need some of that sweet baby milk. It really cost for Blizzard to have bought better chairs, to uh, have better tables, to have better outlets, to uh, be able to, you know, like have people work while they're doing it, and to have a security camera and buy a lock. I would say total would be like 10 grand. $10,000 to solve... It's like that's so cheap to solve such a perversion. It, it's so cheap. It's like you just spend the money, it's done, it's gone, you don't have to think about it anymore. That's so fucking cheap to do, man. 10K. That would imply that their supervisors care about women, which as we've seen, not even to save face, like in the Jen O'Neill situation, not even to save face. Were they actually able to pay her the same as Mikey Barra? Despite them both asking for it, not even to save face, not even as just like a complete fake bullshit fucking token thing, not even for that, you know? Not even for that, they were able to like swallow their pride and pay her the same? Why the fuck would they spend $10,000? They don't give a fuck, dude. It's like, what, bitch lost some milk? That's too bad. Bitch can go, you know, lactate some more. That's, that's kind of like their thoughts on it, probably. It would be enough uh, for company-wide. Yeah, because everybody probably uses the same two or three rooms. It's quality of life for the employee. So it, it really, I, and I think this is kind of, like, obviously this is a manifestation of this, but it, it happens all over. I think that the stories with like women and minorities uh, getting mistreated by Blizzard, they're more salacious, but they're fucking everybody over, okay? Like there's nobody, it's not like if you're a white dude, you go there and everything's perfect. No, you're still getting overworked. You're still uh, stressed out about your job constantly. You're still being underpaid. You're still being fucked around in dozens of different ways. Maybe your maybe your boss is still touching you in a weird way because like it's a girl or it's a guy that's gay or bisexual or something. That could happen too. So it's not like sexual harassment and this kind of stuff only happens to women. So I don't I don't want to make this a women only issue. This happens to everybody, although it probably happens to women more. It's important to keep that in mind too. I have been very outspoken. Uh, about many of these issues. Uh, I've been very outspoken about the Amazon issues, uh, about the anti-unionization by Amazon, and now also Blizzard. We're going to talk about that pretty soon, too. And I've also been very outspoken about the stuff that happened at Riot. It was like two years ago where the executives were farting on people. No, I'm not kidding. Look it up. Uh, I've been very outspoken about that. Uh, I've been outspoken about, remember, I think it was Foxcom over in the uh, Malaysia uh, they would have, uh, they would lock people in. Remember how they had like that big fire and everybody died in the warehouse? Well, the reason why they died is because the doors locked from the outside because they locked the employees in overnight so they couldn't escape. Oh, they would put nets uh, across each different, uh, each different floor so the people that were working there wouldn't jump down and kill themselves. So I've been very outspoken about all of these issues, and I will continue to be outspoken about them. I've said negative things about China, uh, about things like this. I've been very outspoken, and I, I will continue to be. Uh, that's all the that, that that's all the all there is to it. Amazon treats employees way worse than Blizzard, and you play New World. The truth is that yes, Amazon does treat the employees pretty bad. That, that's definitely true. And this is what I said before, is that the new I'm supporting the New World developers whenever I, I'm playing the game. And the, here's the thing. You are supporting Twitch right now on Amazon by typing that message. You understand? Like, there's nobody who's innocent here. Nobody is true. getting away with this. Nobody is 
okay and they're like oh well i don't do that everybody does this yeah I, everybody does this no i support you fucker yeah and where am i Oh, well, I, I don't support New World. I don't support Amazon. I support New World. New World's owned by Amazon. So you can't say that. You, this is what I'm saying. It's impossible to do this without completely removing yourself from society. Which I've done a pretty fucking good job of, okay? We're going to use this one guy as content. Then after that, we're going to move on. We have to talk about the unionizing stuff. And we're gonna we're gonna move on past this, but we want to find one chatter. His name is uh, oh, no. Bobby Kodak. Uh, sorry, not Bobby Kodak. I'd rather work minimum wage than be a millionaire doing this. No shot. Most depressing channel on Twitch. Wish I didn't j didn't listen just for the tranquility. Low IQ take. All the shit from a work fridge gets taken. Such a sheltered view from someone who has never worked. Dude probably saw milk and drank it. Mostly because you're sheltered fuck. A MRS ASMR has better substance than this trash. Oh my it's god. It's not real, you dub fuck. You right, brah. Books fucked up on cam. Making money doesn't mean you're 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 er, you're successful dickhead. <laughs> yeah, so quit. I am. I'm quitting Twitch tomorrow. Go ahead and quit as well. Alright. Everybody, let's get his name. From now on, if anybody ever sees Twitch Chatter 0849 oh God. in any Twitch channel, let it be known that he... Isn't this against the TOS? In YouTube, this is against the TOS. You can't name and shame it. At least I think it used to be. I don't know. No. No, that was the TOS of, like, World of Warcraft forums. Yeah, that's probably what I'm thinking about. I think World of Warcraft forums is a place where you couldn't name and shame. I know that there was some place that I've been to where you couldn't name and shame. I mean, I did get permanently banned from the World of Warcraft forums twice. You guys might be wondering, how do you get permanently banned twice? Well, because I was able to get out of it, and I'm still not banned right now. I'm very good with words. He's a liar. This is your last day. You're not getting banned. Because just in case you say it again, we're we're gonna we're gonna keep track of you. We're keeping we're keeping good 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 track of you. Yeah, he just randomly <laughs> saw milk in a milk bottle with a pacifier on it, and he thought, "Oh wow, <laughs> this must be for me." <laughs> yeah, I've got a picture of the guy that did that too. <laughs> That's my lucky day. Shut the fuck up. Dude, I'm so suspicious of milk uh, that, like, I will even smell milk every time, whether it's from my fridge or, for, like, my parents' fridge. Whenever I pick up a a, a box of milk, I'll be like, okay, th this, sound, this doesn't smell too bad, so it's probably still good. Like, I'm very suspicious of milk, let alone being in, like, some fucking refrigerator at work, seeing a bottle of milk, whether it's identified as, like, a baby bottle or just a regular bottle. I am never touching anybody's white substance fucking ever. Like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> what? If there's a fucking white substance in a bottle or in a cup, I ain't touching that shit. I don't know what it is. I don't know where it's been. I'm not inserting it into my body. Did he type anything else when I call them out? Track me. I don't care. I have actually... <laughs> Arc Axel, I've actually drank. Uh, I've drank spoiled milk when I was a child. That's why I was marked for life. Because, like, I wasn't sure... Because, like, I was a kid. I didn't know anybody. I was like, hey, there's milk. I want some milk. I put the milk in my cereal. And I'm like, this, these cereal don't taste good. And I ate a, quite a bit of it before I was like, mom, this cereal doesn't taste good. My mom picks up the bowl. She's like, oh, my God. And I, was, I had been eating that shit. <laughs> Are you typing? Okay. So, listen. Um, let's go back. We're, we're, we're just gonna, we're, we're, we're gonna try to move on, but it's extra it's sour taste. I, f I feel like this is pretty much the end of the, the saga here. Uh, this is really, this pretty much sums up the way that I felt about it. I saw, uh, Belly Ewer made a tweet about this and 
I feel like this pretty much uh, summarizes the way that I feel. This is just really weird, man. It, it's just really weird, man. Walking the fridge doesn't stop people from drinking the breast milk. Ban anybody who disagrees. If you can believe it, there's more. Oh no. So, this is yet another, once again, another oh, situation where I can't, I can't degeneracy. Take this. this is why the Bible had the Old Testament. It's because of things like basically you take Sodom and Gomorrah, you just check this Gomorrah and you put them good. together and you get Blizzard Entertainment. Yeah. Like, this is why, the, things like this is why there's the Old Testament. Oh my god.